Hey everyone, got a bit of a bonus episode here today. Uh, this is, I would say, loosely related to paginated reports. It's really more focused on what oftentimes people are creating paginated reports for, which is exporting data out to Excel. I know it sounds very glamorous, but believe it or not, a lot of people create a paginated report with the explicit purpose of exporting that data out. Perfectly fine, perfectly valid use case, uh, but there is a way to perhaps give your users an alternative or save yourself a little bit of time if the table of data is something that doesn't really make sense uh, for a page report per se, or it's just going to be a list that you need to update on an ongoing basis and, and have that uh, information up to date in an Excel spreadsheet. So uh, with this particular example, I've connected to a data set in uh, Power BI, which is called product line sales. And again, this is in my workspace. Uh, in Power BI, which is uh, back, it, which is not, uh, which is backed by premium capacity, but I'm just using the Analyze and Excel endpoint uh, to connect to it here. And then the data sets um, is I'm creating a data set, and I'm really just getting a list of customer data. And you see the information here: address, fax, phone. This is not information that you're really going to be analyzing or uh, pivoting on. It's just a list of data and of customer names and addresses that I'm going to be using on an ongoing basis, and I have a. Sh a my team oftentimes just exports this data out uh, because this list changes all the time. I really just need a way to keep this list up to date on an ongoing basis in an Excel spreadsheet. So I have this information here and I can execute the query. You'll see it show up. Okay, great. This is exactly what I need. Company name, contact name, etc. So I jump back over and I've got my, uh, I've got my DAX query right here. So it's, it's in text form already. So Okay, great. I would, at this point, I could go and add a table to my pattern report and move from there. But I'm going to do something a little bit different here. So I'm going to go over to Excel, and I'm using uh, part of Excel, part of Office 365. And I'm just going to go and get data. And instead of going uh, from file, I'm going to go database, and I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm going to go sim from SQL Server Analysis Services database import. Now, Again, I know many of you are familiar with analyzing Excel. It's a great way to go and use data from Excel on an ongoing basis. And for a lot of use cases, it makes a lot of sense. This one's a little bit different. And honestly, it's just a lot of people didn't even know you could do this uh, in Excel right now with this particular option. So if I go and choose import, uh, I have this option here to say, okay, specify my server. Well, interestingly enough, I can go and use the um, XML endpoint because that's the whole point. XML endpoint turns your Power BI premium data sets or your Power BI premium capacity into an analysis services server. So I go here and I choose uh, the um, connection string. I'm going to put product line sales as my database. And then I'm going to actually paste in the DAX query from Power BI Report Builder. Ta -da. So now if I hit OK, yep, there it is, all the information here. And again, uh, at this point, I could go and transform this data just like I would uh, any other item. If I hit Transform Data, it's treated just like anything else is in the context of... Uh, of uh, Power Query, and again, I'm going to assume most of you, if not all of you, have used Power Query before, so I'm just going to call this, you know, customer list. And what I want to do is I just want to close and load it to. Oh, <laughs> I did this. So you just caught me. Uh, I did this once before as a dry run, and <laughs> so I already did customer list. That's customer list two. So close and load to. I'm going to do it as a table to a brand new worksheet. And again, you can do it just as a pivot table connection. You can do it as a pivot chart connection. You can just create it. But I'm not actually going to load it into a Power Pivot data model. I'm just putting this into a worksheet. If I click OK, you'll see it's getting the data. And yes, you caught me. I have customer list one there as well. Uh, there you go. I now have customer list two with my information. And I've got all the data there. It's a nice flat table for me. And this allows me to do a lot of sorts of things. I mean, first of all, I can I clean up the table to look however I want, and then I can go and do things like conditional formatting in a column. And if I refresh the data, uh, it'll stick with me. I can go and, you know, use XLOOKUP. I can create a pivot table off of this information on another tab. Another nice thing is if I save this up to SharePoint Online or, Power, or even the Power BI service directly, I can interact with this table. There's nothing limiting me there with it. I can interact with the pivot table that I've created off this table online as well. I know many folks are well aware of the limitation right now of using a live connected Power BI data set through Analyze in Excel in Excel Online. Something we're working on, but 
that is something that right now doesn't allow you to refresh or interact with the data at all, this is a way to do that. And again, this is for those use cases where I see oftentimes customers really struggling with, hey, I want a flat table of data that really has nothing to do with analytics, and I'm dumping this out, uh, created a page report specifically to basically dump out you know, customer list information. And again, perfectly valid use case. I want you to use paginated reports, but this is a different way to also get your data into data and in, data into Excel and a great way to keep it up to date because again, I can just come in here from now on and refresh the data every time I open this up. So that's today's lesson, super quick, just tangentially related to paginated reports, but if you're a report author, something to consider uh, to provide users a, a spreadsheet like this that they can refresh on an ongoing basis for their flat tables of data they need. Thanks very much for watching.